Good afternoon. Thank you, uh, Philippe, for inviting me to pitch here at La Biotech. Always good uh, to see that Paris is becoming a uh, hurry to be in, but now so many young people attracted to biotech. It's really cool. So um, I'm Xavier Duporte. I'm the CEO of uh, Eligo Bioscience. And at Eligo, we are basically developing a new generation of molecules, biotherapeutics, to completely reshape uh, the way we can engineer the microbiome. Um, so Eligo Bioscience was founded two years ago um, from a spin-off from MIT and Rockefeller. Um, we joined forces with two groups, um, uh, which are the founder, the scientific founders, Professor Luciano Marafini, Professor Timo Chilou, David Bicard, and myself. Um, so we um, have combined expertise in a lot of things that we use, um, CRISPR, hot topic, uh, phage engineering, synthetic biology, and microbiome. Um, in the last 18 months, uh, we managed to achieve a lot of milestones to prepare for our next round of funding, early 2017. Um, we um, got an, a seed funding from 2.6 million, followed by a few grants, which enables us to, um, to move forward. Um, we validated the technology. We managed to get the proof of concept of the technology I'm going to show you later in vivo. Um, and finally, we already signed a deal with a, an animal health company for, as a co-development and about to sign another one um, in the coming months. And finally, um, the most important is that we managed to, to assemble a really amazing team of scientists from all over the world, uh, recently joined by the former um, chief medical officer of Sanofi, uh, who is bringing the, the seniority in the company. Um, <clears throat> um, so at, at Eligo, we're interested in, in the microbiome. So you know the microbiome, it's these 10 trillions of cells that inhabit your body, on your skin, in your lungs, um, on your, in your gut. And you have, when you're health, healthy, basically, what you can call a healthy microbiome, which is involved in a lot of good stuff. Digestion, the pH regulation of your skin, uh, your immunity, the organ development in children, in infants, um, the production of vitamins, and a lot of other stuff. But um, you can have a lot of... Uh, external factors as drugs, food, um, other bacteria, uh, or even your own immunity that can affect this, uh, this microbiome and transform it into a disease-associated microbiome, uh, which has been linked and more and more to a number, an increasing number of diseases. So you have the infections that were known before, but today we have all the inflammatory disease, some immune disorders, cancer, obesity. And correlations, and we're living in an inter extremely interesting time where we are moving from correlation to causations, basically finding which bugs are exactly responsible of disease. And so today, if you look at the, uh, the different strategies we have to go back from um, disease-associated microbiome to healthy microbiome, we have antibiotics, we have fecal transplants, um, very specific competitive bacterial uh, comp components, but also wild-type bacteriophage. All these, um, all these different technologies are working in a certain extent, but there are still a lot of unmet medical needs in this space. And so at Eligo, we're tackling, we're trying to basically bring to the market a completely different new approach to, the, to engineering the microbiome. For this, um, we are creating programmable drugs, which, are, which we call Eligo Biotics. Eligo means to select, from the Latin eligere, to select, and it means that we have drugs that target very specifically the bugs and use the bugs uh, for, for a specific indication. So eligobiotics are programmable because we can, um, the eligobiotics are based on the delivery of synthetic DNA in the microbiota, in the cells in specific po bacterial population of your microbiome. And so the possibilities of this potential of this technology are pretty, um, you know, wide. Um, once you have a DNA payload in your gut, in, your, in the bacteria, you can engineer it to express a lot of different functions. And here are just a few of them. But you can, you can engineer it to become a target antimicrobials as a live diagnostic tool, and, a lot of, and to engineer a lot of host microbiome relationships, produce specific antigens, secrete peptides, drugs, uh, modulate bacterial pathways. Um, and so, once you can do this in the microbiome directly, you open up a uh, basically a wide uh, range of different applications from infectious disease to oncology to all these inflammatory and immune disease and also biodefense. And, and actually many more are coming up. So the thing is how, and the real, the real bottleneck of this and, and the challenge of this technology is how to get this DNA, like in gene therapy, human gene therapy, a plasmid, a gene, 
into the microbe that you're targeting. So for this, well, we have, we have at Eligo, we have created a, a, a platform uh, which is completely automatized and that can basically uh, create a synthetic. It's five minutes. It's five minutes? Yeah, oh, last crap. sentence. <laughs> Okay, so we've, we've created this synthetic vector that can be packaged in, in, a, in a phage vector, and this phage vector can then deliver it uh, to a cell. So this phage vector can be, um, uh, this phage emit by Eligobetic can be uh, formulated into uh, an oral capsule, topical lotion, or nebulized to target different zones of the microbiome. Um, once it's injected the DNA in the bacteria, it expresses the protein of interest. That's more and than so a sentence. Huh? Yes, yeah, more than it's a, a sentence. long sentence. No, one, one conclusion sentence. Okay, so basically, I mean, we use the technology uh, mostly for right now to target uh, um, infectious disease, where we plug into this uh, into this capsids um, system containing the CRISPR-Cas system, and what it can do is that when you um, target the CRISPR-Cas system to a specific gene in the chromosome of the bacteria, uh, then the double strand break cannot be repaired in the bacteria and leads to the uh, to the death of the target bacteria. And therefore, you create a, um, 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 a, a sequence-specific antimicrobial that enables to kill the target bug while at the strain level, while leaving the rest of the flora completely intact.